Mabuhay Winnipeg, welcome back to another episode of Dalagita. We are getting in full season to celebrate our girls on their June 1st gala. And while we do that, of course, we cannot help but celebrate all the amazing women in our community. We are so fortunate today to be joined by three amazing women. One thing I do want to recap, of course, is our last episode. You were able to meet two of our Dalagitas, Ira and Jay, who took some time to interview Anak Winnipeg about some upcoming opportunities for youth to get involved in their community, as well as Mrs. Gemma Dalayoan, a celebrated author and volunteer in our community. At Dalagita, we work with a lot of youth, so of course connecting with educators is one of our main focuses. Sitting with me today is Ms. Chelsea Arns, and Chelsea is the owner of Tudor Bright for Winnipeg, Regina, and Saskatoon. So welcome, Chelsea. Tell me more about Tudor Bright. Sure, so Tutor Bright is a one-on-one -on -one in home tutoring and mentorship provider. And what we do is we help students either get caught up or get ahead. Now every student that works with us is matched with one tutor mentor who is the best fit to work with them based on personality, but also based on academic area of expertise. And so that person comes to the home, works with them either on an individualized program that we've created for the student or based on whatever the student is bringing home from classroom, whether it be for homework support or test preparation or or even just organization and study skills. That sounds amazing. Um, and I love that you have mentors and it's one-on-one. -on -one, so it's really more about building that relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we work a lot with students and with families at our program, and I know so do you. So what would be your best tip or your best advice for students now that we're entering that exam season and final exams are around the corner? Yeah, so like with anything in life, it's always practice makes perfect. And then I think for any student, whether you're looking to get a certain mark on your science exam or a certain mark on your math course, it's all about practicing those questions as often as you can um, and really putting the time in to learn those concepts and not just memorize them. A very wise woman once told me that it's about quality over quantity um, and so really making sure that you're not uh, you know cramming the day before but that you're really taking the time to practice those questions really understand what they're asking you and that you really know those concepts inside and out for the exam. Fantastic. And one of the things I know for sure, especially in our community, is um, the student isn't always by themselves, of mm -hmm. course. They always have like a family unit behind them. Um, and usually the people most concerned are parents. So what would your advice be to parents who are concerned about how their students are doing um, with their schooling? I think my advice to the parents would be twofold. So the first thing I would say to parents is help your student learn how to be accountable to their studies. If they really want to succeed academically, then they really need to carve out that time into their academics to provide time for studying and for doing their homework. So, you know, studying for an exam or a test should be just as important as getting to that soccer game or getting to that basketball game. Um, and it should really be a priority within the household that a student has time for studying and for homework. And then the next piece of advice I have for parents is to just be there and be supportive. A lot of our students put a lot of pressure on themselves to get that grade that they're looking for. But you know what, at the end of the day, as long as your student tries their best and puts their best foot forward, there's always going to be another test, there's always going to be another exam, and it's really just about becoming the best version of yourself. And so Tudor Bright sounds fantastic, and I'm sure a lot of people at home are probably wondering about how they can get connected with you and with the company. Um, so for our folks at home, how can they connect with you online? So you can find us on our website at www.tutorbright.com. We're also on Facebook, or you can find us on Instagram at tutorbright underscore central underscore Canada. Well, thank you so much, Chelsea, for taking time for sitting with us and giving this advice for our younger generation about their exams. You're very welcome. Good luck to all the students out there. Mm -hmm.